Are you gonna be snorty? Are we gonna hear snorty snorts? Probably. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge. Today we're gonna build a house out of a tube. You what? Why not? First, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do, I have my room tool here and I'm gonna go ahead and build a square. Then we're gonna page up and on top of that square, I have my grid on. I'm gonna go and get a roof piece and I wanna use the half gabled roof. So I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna rotate it so it's facing this way and I'm gonna bring in my adjusters to make sure that I don't have any overhang at all. I'm gonna use shift C on my keyboard and that's gonna open up those two adjusters. I don't know if you guys knew that. It's like a weird little build tip in The Sims 4. So yeah, shift C to switch those over and then you're just able to have a little bit more control over the actual curve that you want. So I'm gonna probably bring that out to about here, maybe like there. And then anything that I'm doing to the one side, I'm gonna copy and paste and put it directly to the other. And hopefully that's gonna act as like the bottom semicircle of my build. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring this all the way in. I only want it to be taking up one tile because whenever I do a build that has roofing like this, like what you're gonna see in a minute, these wall parts are very hard to hide. So when I pull this all the way across, that wall part won't be visible, which is great. This is what I want. When I put the glass on there, those walls are still freaking there, which is the pain in the butt part of this, but we're gonna fix it. Don't you worry. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side that I did, bring that all the way over. And I don't think this is gonna be quite big enough. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this all the way over and I'm gonna do the exact same thing but connect them over like the other way. So holding shift and I'm gonna hold shift and bring that all the way over. If you guys do hear snoring, by the way, I apologize, it's my dog. Naimi has been very hyper since her spay, which is very strange. I thought she was gonna be the opposite. She's even more hyper. So she's asleep on my lap <laughs> and I kinda wanna keep it that way. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so right now here's our half circle. I'm gonna go ahead and build another room right on top of here and I wanna page up again and we're gonna do the exact same thing over top but with a different roof piece. So this time we're gonna take a gabled roof. I'm gonna rotate it so it's facing me and I'm gonna pull it all the way over this way and all the way over to this side as well. I don't really think we need the adjusters this time so I'm just gonna curve it right out and we're gonna try our best to connect this with the other circle. I'm assuming this isn't gonna look too great right off the bat but if I add the glass and we play around with the actual like angle of this thing, like play around with these adjusters, I'm literally just trying to get it to connect properly and look like a good proper circle. That's not too bad yet. I think I'm gonna play around with it a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these walls because I think they're throwing me off a little. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna delete the bottom floor. So that part is completely gone. And I'm going to be deleting my walls on the room on the inside. So all I want for the inside here is just gonna be that flooring. So I managed to get that flooring in there. I'm just gonna remove the roof and pull it all the way across so it's connecting on the inside here. We're gonna cover the whole tube. Actually, while I have it like this, I think I am going to add some half walls. I was trying this out earlier to see what looked the best and adding these walls in the middle kind of separates the trim that's gonna be there. Once I put my roof trim on, it kind of like thickens a lot more than I want it to. So that is going to kind of hold that in place a little. We can even do like a smaller one than that, I think. This looks like, you know, those like bingo things. Like if you go to bingo and there's like the rolling thing, that's what this looks like. <laughs> Wait, what if I put this on there? No, that's what it looks like. Just need the balls in there. Wait, that'd be a cool build. Maybe next time. Yeah. No, 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 next time. So to get rid of those stupid wall pieces, what I'm gonna do is grab a big archway. Actually, this is kind of perfect. Journey to Batu has this freaking massive archway. I'm gonna size that down all the way. I'm just kind of connecting it to the wall pieces and shrinking it. And then later what we can do is go in with like some rocks or some kind of landscaping that I can use to completely cover those. We're gonna get that trim on there. I'm debating on using the thick one. See how it kind of goes below there? Like I didn't like how that looked when I was trying this out before. And I think that half wall kind of like stops that from happening and like looking strange. And we're gonna cover up those half wall pieces with like a white trim. Before we go any further, I wanna make sure this is 100% functional because I don't know how your Sims are gonna get through that roof. So I'm gonna add some stairs and I'm gonna put them in there and just kind of like connect them like that. And I'm gonna get a Sim and see if I can get up there. All right, let's see here. So I'm gonna get my Sims to go up there. It's nice too, because in live mode, if you put your walls down, the roofing goes down as well. So there's gonna be no problems for gameplay features as long as we can get up there. Okay, we're good. If Yeah, yeah, that was way easier than I thought. I thought I was gonna have to get all glitchy, show off some skills, you know? He just walked right on up there. He's fine. Okay, all right, nice. All right, get down. <laughs> this looks kind of 
everybody. Okay, so I want to do kind of like a grand entrance to this, but first we have to cover up those rocks. So I'm going to open up debug. We're going to go bb.show hidden objects and live edit. I need something big enough to cover it and look kind of like natural. Oh, here we go. Cottage living. We could totally make that work. And I don't want to take up any of the interior either. So I really need some that are going to kind of like shape around this build. I love that candy bear is just like <laughs> zooming around on a bicycle. <laughs> this is where I'm at. So I got my rocks in the background. I think I did a pretty good job covering everything up and I had to make sure that my stairs weren't kind of interfered with too. But down here, what I'm working on, I wanted to make sort of like a interesting entrance to this that related to the build in a way. So I did this like circular kind of fence technique. I've done an entire video on this. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to find out how I did it and how you can make an entire house like that. But now what I'm going to do is go and get some flooring pieces and I kind of want to mold them around the shape of the fencing that I already made. So what I'm doing is just going to be going in with these like pre-made rounded decks. I'm going to connect them and eventually we can pull them this way. I deleted the fence and now I'm just going to try and bring all of the shapes around without deleting my stairs. And I'm thinking any spots that we don't fill in with this, I could fill in with like some plants. I just want it to be like a unique way of like entering on here. We could even add some water around somewhere. Maybe I could do like a little pool in there or something, a little pond. We'll get our stairs right at the front. I'm going to have them match the same ones that I already have. And then for my flooring, I kind of want it to be a deck. I was picturing this house actually in Sulani. I was concerned about having the ocean in the background and how it would like mess up my things like this. We're definitely gonna have to fix that area. But now I can go in and like cover all of this up with some plants. We could put in like these. I was actually thinking some of the island living like grass could look good. I think we are gonna do a colorful build today. I'm kind of feeling it. I haven't really done a very bold out there kind of build in a while on this channel. So I do want to do that today. We're gonna do like maybe pink, maybe some yellow. So with my landscaping, I'm gonna be bringing those colors in immediately. And then at the end, we're gonna have a nice, colorful, cohesive build. I'm excited. The more that I look at this now, the more I'm starting to think it looks like the Krusty Krab from SpongeBob. This is like the Krusty Krab if Pearl, his like daughter, took over and made everything pink. <laughs> Imagination. That's gonna be the vibe. Pearl aesthetic from SpongeBob, yes. Anyway, this is where I'm going with my landscaping right now. You can see I'm already bringing in some of the color. I'm trying to see too what details look best on the side. Like I use these spotty things sized up along with this snowy escape kind of fence along there. And I think that looks pretty. I'm already aware that I'm gonna have an issue with the bathroom. So I'm trying to like think ahead and think of where I could put that, what we could freaking do with that. I might have to test out how it's gonna look with like the wall in there. Cause I don't think it's gonna hit the top of the roof. That's gonna be a problem. Oh no, that looks cute, I think. And we can maybe change the color of the water, make it nice and bright. I feel like in Oasis Springs, sometimes it gets a little bit dull. It gets a little dull, doesn't it? The lighting is killing it though. All right, so I've got my loungers over here. This table kind of reminds me of a Ouija board a little bit, you know, or a guitar pick. No. <laughs> Maybe either one, pick your preference. Because these tables are so tiny, I kind of want to do the tiny one, the tiny little plant from the Blooming Rooms kit. I think it'd be nice if we had like a pool or I was thinking a hot spring and I know that might be kind of weird to put here, but I never use these and I love them. I don't know what it is. I think it's the water. Like I feel like the water just looks so pretty. With the rocks, I mean, it's like a big natural hot tub, right? Since we are in Oasis Springs, I'm going in with some cacti landscaping. Ooh, actually, what if we did some of these jungle adventure plants too? Because that is gonna be basically my color scheme. I'm not really a big Valentine's Day person. Like I don't normally celebrate, kind of just like whatever about it, but the color scheme for it with the pink and the red and the white, I think I might be doing a little bit extra pink this month. Just because, you know, tis the season. So if you guys see a little extra pink than usual, just don't mind me. I do actually have a pretty fun build planned for it. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. Hopefully that'll be up this week. Yeah, see, I think that looks cute right there. And with like the landscaping, it's definitely a very unique build. I like that. Are you having a good sleep? People want to know because we can all hear you. I actually don't know how bad it is. If you guys can hear her snores again, I'm really sorry. She's just being so good right now. And she's been so bad since she got spayed, like so bad. Like you've been really, really, really bad. But look at that face. I definitely think my landscaping is coming along. This is so freaking cute. And I love when I can see the moon in the background. So I always try and like angle it that way. But this is what our build is looking like so far. I think I am going to come out and add a little bit more here. Like maybe we can do some ottomans or something, but I think we're ready to do the interior. So like I said, this is going to be a little tricky. I don't know how I'm going to do a bathroom. Let's say I did. Let's 
say I went and built a room like right here. We're gonna go as small as I'm willing to go. I mean, I don't think it messed anything up, did it? It's just the window that's a little bit odd. See, this is what I was kind of worried about because it doesn't go to the full length even of my window. So I'm, I'm left with this like awkward, like half wall situation. You can't really tell on the outside because of the overhang like awning that I already had, but maybe I can put something on top of there later on to kind of cover it up. But for now, I'm just gonna make sure all of the essentials are there before dealing with any of those problems. <gasps> I'm also gonna have to build with the walls down. Oh no. Oh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, it's fine. I don't know why that bothers me. Like, do you guys, when you're building, do you build with the walls up or down? That could be a little bit controversial, I feel. I used to build like this, but now, like, I can't my wall. People actually always got mad at me on stream too because whatever I did gameplay and probably actually now on this channel now that I'm thinking about it, I always have my walls up, <laughs> which like apparently bothers people. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to make a stand up shower. So I'm actually going to section that off and I think what I'm going to do is go in and get my Discover University shower. We could make like a little walk-in area, like a walk-in shower and I could put this door in there so it's like a glass door. Okay, so I did my bathroom. It's literally so freaking basic, <laughs> but this is what I did. It's basically just a walk-in shower with that little door that I did and some plants on the wall, but it's very annoying for me to show you. Gameplay wouldn't be too bad because you could just have the walls down, but still, that is... Ooh. So let's get our color filter on. Let's pick a bed. I'm thinking pink and yellow with this like desert theme is really nice. So let's do pink and yellow color filter. I think Vintage Glamour has a really pretty pale pink bed. Actually, this one is not too bad either, but definitely not the vibe. Like I'm thinking this one. There's even a mint swatch, which could be cute in like a different kind of like color scheme for this, but I like that one. I'm pretty sure this floor plan is gonna have to be all open because I don't really wanna add any more rooms than I really have to. I'm not a big fan of the way that the room looked for the bathroom, so we're just gonna avoid that from now on, if possible. Let's get some end tables. We're gonna do maybe some dream home decorator, like smaller ones. And I wanna use these because I know they've got that yellow swatch. They also have a pale pink that we could use too. So we'll do our yellow end tables there. I think my living room is gonna be right when you walk up and turn right. And then we can maybe do our kitchen over to the left. So let's go ahead and find a couch. We need a nice, cute, pink, bright couch. What about either this one is really cute. That could actually maybe go on the outside and we could do more of like a boho moment. Or the one that I'm actually picturing is this paranormal one because it has both of the pink swatches that I think is really pretty. So we'll turn that. We'll get a nice little coffee table or something that I can put my TV on and I need a rug definitely to pull this area together. I was thinking maybe retro TV could look kind of cute, but I don't know. Maybe we could just go with like a white screen here and just like size that one up from base game. And for my rug, I'm kind of avoiding too much pattern. I'm looking for a lot of color, but patterns I'm kind of of avoiding because my build is so freaking weird already. <laughs> Literally, as I said that, the rug calling my name is this pink one from Strangerville. I don't know what it is about this one. It has like little llamas with hearts on it and I just think it's so freaking cute. I mean, that kind of works. And then back here, because my TV is going to be like exposed on the back, I don't really like that look. So I'm thinking I should do like a bookshelf and put that on the back of the TV. I feel like sometimes that's kind of a good way to like hide it, you know? Maybe Moschino can look good on the back because I know that one has like a nice flat, no details on the back or anything like that. So let's get this in white and that's gonna be the backing for my TV. So I'll just kind of like pull it back there just enough so that that part isn't exposed. And then that's gonna hide that. And I could even separate this off and do like a different kind of like seating area here. We could use the pink chairs, the matching ones from Paranormal over here. Cute. Oh, I love, I love me some good color. I do have like a little closet back there. So I could do maybe some dream home decorator hanging clothes. I really hope we get like like a base game object like this where they have the hanging clothes in the same kind of style as Dream Home Decorator because I really love these. I use them a lot. I feel like it could have been a great addition to Tiny Living too because it doesn't take up much space at all. You know what I'm actually gonna do just so I can see what I'm doing? I'm gonna remove our roof piece just for a sec. I'm gonna put it back, but like you just stay there for a moment so that I can see what the heck I'm freaking doing over here. I didn't even realize I added two of the same clothing pieces. There, okay, so we'll change that to like a yellow, keep it nice and matchy matchy. I'm adding some clutter to my rooms and I'm adding the little stuffed animals from Nifty Knitting. I feel like it's just one of those builds where it would have a lot of those like little plushies and stuff. But I also added the little poof over there from Nifty Knitting and another one. <laughs> I do need an area to start working on my kitchen. So I think we're going to turn around and do that over here. I have one more open space. I'm thinking we should do maybe some snowy escape counters. I like that color scheme over here. We can do that there and maybe do like an island or something as 
well. Like an island this way so there's more like dining space because I didn't leave a whole lot of room for a dining table, which I'm kind of realizing right now. But I can go in with like some yellow chairs, put those here. I don't really picture myself having like an entire kitchen set in here. Like, and by that, I mean a big old fridge. I don't know. It's just not really the vibe that I'm feeling. What if we did instead? I could go in with like one of these. I like the stickers on there. I like cute little white dog, but we could go with that. And then I'm thinking like a pink oven, like one of the ones that you put on a tabletop, like this one from Dream Home Decorator, maybe over there. That looks kind of cute. We can get a sink. I don't know where I'm gonna put my smoke detector, but sometimes what I'll do, if I'm doing one of these like weird builds where I don't have a wall, like yeah, I have done this a few times for some freaking reason. Um, You put your smoke detector like on the floor and I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure it'll save your Sims life, 99%. But now that we've got that, all I need is a little trash can. We can put that beside here. And I wanna get a dining table. I really like those retro style ones from Eco Lifestyle. Of course we're gonna do pink, but what if I also did like a yellow chair with it, like that? I'm gonna add some clutter to these. So I'm gonna get some plates from Snowy Escape. Maybe some of the tea things as well. Like we could do, oh, the pink and yellow. Some more plate clutter in here. And you know those little plants from Discover University with the smiley face on it? I am picturing those. It's kind of like a kawaii style. Totally the pearl from SpongeBob aesthetic. That is so freaking funny. Yeah, we can clutter one of these. Because of the island space that I've got over there, I will still have room for prep. So we can clutter a little bit over here. Maybe we'll get some like good old cookbooks or something. Oh, I really want to use the new salt and pepper and like the little jars from Cottage Living. Okay, I don't want to go too freaking crazy with this. I did want to put a little bit in here, but I do want to see this thing in action. So I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to put my roof back, fix everything up, and then I'm going to show you guys this live in action when it's done. Oh, it ended up looking so freaking cute. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a walkthrough or like, should I make editing Sid do it? Nah. All right, so let's get our Sims to go in there. This is such a summery build. It's been so yucky outside. So like, I'm kind of loving this. I'm realizing I need a railing. Wait, don't do the walkthrough without a railing. Gosh, you're kind of fall. It's so freaking cool watching them move around in there. I love this. I feel like it's like a, a goldfish bubble, like a, a bowl. <laughs> I'm like watching my Sims through a goldfish bubble. Anyway, there it is, guys. I hope you like this build. This was definitely more of like a fun, unique one. I like doing these from time to time. And if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.